this short video, I'm going to introduce a new feature we recently added to the Omics Playground platform. In order to access this feature, you need to go to the Clustering tab and then select the Cluster Features module. This module allows users to visually explore and compare expression signatures on UMAP plots. Uh, this representation can be done either at gene or the gene set level, as shown here by these two tabs. And you user can choose which one to select simply by clicking uh, on the appropriate tab. On the left hand side, uh, there is a selection of uh, options that users can choose. So first of all, there is a scroll down menu uh, from which users can choose the phenotype they want to look at. And then uh, an options a link that uh, allows users to choose the data type they want to use to produce the UMAP plot. So you have two choices, a log counts per million or log for changes. And then two more scroll down menus, one that allows users to choose uh, the gene family they want to focus on or they can select all the genes instead. And then a uh, gene set uh, scroll down menu that allows users to choose which uh, particular uh, database they want to use to label uh, the plot. So if we go to the main panel, uh, you can see first of all on the left hand side, a gene map plot. So this is a plot of genes. Uh, each one of uh, the dots corresponds to a gene uh, that are um, plotted according to their uh, log count per million or log for change uh, data. And they can, and this plot can be customized by going to the settings uh, option and from there you can select the number of genes that you want to label you can change the intensity of the colors and also you can decide whether you want to color individual genes by standard deviation variance or mean fold change so if we then go to uh, the uh, right hand side we can see the gene signatures for each one of the phenotypic groups uh, in the phenotype that you selected. Uh, in this case, I have four. And if we uh, now compare the control and the IL-17A treated group, we can immediately spot some differences. So for example, there is a region here that is downregulated uh, in samples that were treated with IL-17A. Conversely, there is a region here that was upregulated upon exposure uh, to IL-17A, uh, but it looks downregulated in the control uh, sample groups. So if we then want to look more in detail at the genes uh, within one of these areas, so I'm going to select this area, uh, you can then go to the gene map, and this is an interactive plot, so you can simply uh, draw a rectangle around uh, the region you are interested in, and then if we scroll down, you will see a table that contains uh, all the genes within this area. And you can then download this table uh, as a CSV plot for further analysis. Uh, now, if we move on to the gene set uh, plots instead, uh, we see basically again uh, another UMA plot, except that this time uh, the units that are plotted here are not genes, but gene sets. And you can see here that I labeled the plot using the Hallmark collection, as shown here as well. However, uh, the gene sets that you see here uh, are not just limited to the Hallmark gene sets, but include uh, gene sets from all the databases that are present on our platform, which is roughly a few bit more than 50,000. Uh, so again, uh, you can customize the gene set UMAP uh, as we saw before. And if you now look to the gene set signature on the left hand side, and again we compare control with IL17A, we can see, for example, an area here that is downregulated upon exposure to IL17A, and, and a large area here that is upregulated upon exposure to IL17A. Now, if we go back to the gene set map, you can see that those areas correspond to these genes highlighted in red. So these are genes that show 
a high level of standard deviation across all the samples in the data set. So it's a, it's a nice confirmation that we are looking at something uh, that is highly variable. And if we now select an area, so for example, I want to look at the genes that are upregulated upon exposure to IL-17A. So again, I draw a uh, rectangle uh, around this area. I get again a table uh, with all um, the various gene sets uh, that are present in this area, and I can download it uh, via the download options as a CSV file.